Nicklin has uploaded a mid video. <laughs> It's not a reaction video. Uh, today I'm going on a date. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is weird. You know what I'm saying? I know you're looking at me. You're like, who is this guy? Um, I've been making videos here and here this year, but you ain't seen my face. Like, this is the first time I've really gone on camera and made a video. By the way, if the lighting changes in the back, it's because the sun. I'm here to tell you. But yeah, guys. This is my brain stressful, I thought. Um, I have points here because, um, you know, I'm gonna forget me. I, I usually freestyle every video. But today, I actually have things I want to say. The appearance. Let's address the elephant in the room. And I'm not talking about my fat ass. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, the obvious. Um, well, one of the obvious is, is I'm, um, I'm still fat. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers thought I was going to... I don't know what you thought I was going to be on some awakening shit. Like on some KSI, Bruh. Andrew Tate <gasps> shit. I'm like gone in hiding like I'm a monk or something. And I'm going to go lose weight. No, I'm still fat. Uh, another change that you guys probably see. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, my ears. I now have piercings. I got my ears pierced because I was like, you know what? Why not? Still wearing these weak ass piercings because um, I have to wear these in for a couple of weeks before I can actually get decent earrings. Uh, another one is the biggest elephant in the room. Uh, my hair. Yes, I've been rocking the twists for like a month now. Um, this is like not new to me, but this is new to you guys. I just, I'm just trying to get you guys familiar. You know what I'm saying? I may look a little different to you guys because we ain't... You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen you in a minute. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How you been living in the coaches? I ain't seen you in a minute, my boy. <laughs> Fuck out of here. So that was just the appearance thing over. Now, where I've been? I'm going to be honest, boys. I've been chilling. Uh, I decided to take a long break um, off the internet. Not everybody's like seeing my face. I didn't really want my face to be on the internet. I've just been chilling. Um, I've been going out more. Uh, a main thing that really happened is I was so sucked into the internet, bro. I never went out. Uh, this year is like the first time I've really gone out a lot. Like... I've been just going out with my brother. Um, we've been going. Like, I went tennis the other day. I bought a tennis racket. I'm never probably going to use this again. Well, I was finished in 30 minutes. <laughs> but I still did it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I still did it. You fat bitches need to shut the fuck. I've been just doing things like the other day uh, on some spontaneous shit. I just my my sister had a meeting up in like Leicester, so I just booked a hotel. Boy, and I was chilling in the hotel. That's where these fits come from. Took these fits in the hotel. The food was arse though. I'm not gonna lie. This food was trash. Um, I don't know who cooked this. It definitely wasn't somebody that knows what season is. Name. Yeah, I've just been doing some crazy. I've just been doing some weird shit, like some spontaneous shit. I've been, I'm in my era where I'm just like, I've just been, I've just been chill. I've just been living my actual life that I feel like I should have been living a long time. Shit, that's why I got my ears pierced. I, I told my brother, like, you guys don't know who my brother is, but I feel like I have to state that because there's new viewers that don't know, like, me and him are brothers. So I'm just have to state that now. And he got his done. I was like, bro, I should get my shit done, but I was too pussy. And then I told myself one day, why am I, like, it's a piercing, bro. It's like, it sounds little, but it's a big thing to me because I don't like tattoos and stuff. I got them done and, um, some good feedback, bro. Like, a lot of people say, like, even just my new look, bro. Everyone's saying the twists suit me. My earrings suit me, bro. I, I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I'm on a new level of confidence. You know what I'm saying? Now, why I've been gone. Uh, why I went away. Um, I'm going to be honest. Uh, there's three reasons why I've been gone for so long and not been able to make videos. Content itself. It got dry. I got tired of just trying to react or talk about something for views. Uh, but towards the end of the video, I'm going to tell you like, the changes that I'm going to do to the channel. It's not going to just solely be reactions, but I get more into it. I, I don't know what it was. The internet started getting weird, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? I've been doing YouTube since 2019. Well, longer than that. I've been doing YouTube since I was 18 years old, bro. I'm 24 now. Hey. Damn, he's old as shit. Yeah, I know. All right, but I've been doing YouTube for a long ass time. 2022, 2023. I feel like this, the new generation started to show up and it just got weird. Instead of judging the content, everybody was just talking about my appearance. Everyone was just talking about just, just random shit that wasn't important and no one cared about back then. You know what I'm saying? Do you know how many people tell me I fell off, I'm irrelevant? None of my viewers cared about views back then. None of my none of my viewers cared about relevancy. They just loved watching a mini clip video. It didn't affect me, but it did. Do you get what I'm saying? It was kind of like, I don't really care that these niggas saying it. But it's annoying the fact that every time I post a video or any... And I know, like, they're still going to do it. They're still going to be idiots and losers that still do it. Jobless ass niggas. It's kind of like a thing where I just had enough of it at that time. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for the whatever. Like, it is what it is. But hopefully this video makes my community change a little bit, bro. Because I, I want to remind you, like, bro, what the fuck are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, we used to watch Mini Clint's content. We used to enjoy this shit. And a lot of people say, I've changed, but nigga, my view has changed. When I was trying to stray away from getting in love with the views and numbers, it's like my community still reminded me about Bruh. views and numbers. I was like, bro, I'm just not going to make videos, bro. I just don't care. I got to a point where I just didn't give a shit. Like, even the other day, people remind me, like, I, I still get DMs of viewers and people just saying, yo, your sub count is this. Bro, I'm just going to be honest, and I'm telling you this right now, I don't, I could care less about sub count right now, bro. Like, that was a 2000 and 19 dream. I don't even care about hitting a million subscribers. I wasn't having fun. I just wasn't having fun making videos. Um, I just weren't. I wasn't having fun making videos. And it just became a whole thing where you have to come up with this image of you got to be like, you have to be like Kai Sinat. You have to be like all these bigger, you You have to be like Aisha Speed. You have to be like Aiden Rush. You have to be entertaining. You have to whip out a fucking rapper next to you. And motherfuckers on my channel hired their standards for a nigga that doesn't have high standards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of YouTubers wouldn't say this because they're too pussy. I'm not scared of my community. I'm not going to lie. A lot of niggas are scared of their communities, but I'm not, okay? I got fed up of you niggas. So I took a break from you niggas. That's it. We needed a break. And then the third reason was YouTube. You know, I don't know if you guys know if you're not in the loop, but YouTube have been on some bullshit, just striking videos. I think Susan Levin actually generally make, might make the, you know, the platform worse. I'm not going to lie because it's already getting worse. <laughs> It got to a point where it's like, it's stressful. People don't understand that YouTube is stressful, man. It, it just is. And before, instead of going on breaks, what would happen is I would just deal with it and stress myself and try and do this and beat myself up. So I decided to just go outside, spend time with my family. But I've been, I've been going out almost like every single day. It's just, I never used to go out before. And yeah, people could be like, oh, Mini Clinics is cool because he goes out. I, I realized... It's good to take a break from the internet. And that's what I'm gonna start doing when I come like when I come back fully. Is that whenever some bullshit happens, I'm just gonna legit turn off my phone, turn off my computer, and go do something. Bro. I don't wanna just shape up myself, I wanna shape up the community because my community, I don't know what's been going on recently. If you're gonna stay here, we need we need to fix up. Changes! Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna make this video gonna be too long, but the changes of the content, uh, because a lot of people are gonna be like, Mini Clean, you're back. What are you gonna do? Just react to stuff? Um I'm still going to be reacting to videos. I'm not going to lie. I think this whole commentary era is coming to an end. Like, if a certain YouTuber does something I can react to, then I'll do it. But this whole going out and talking about things, it's just... I don't know, man. I find it just... It's just an easy way to get views. It is. I'm not going to lie. I am going to do it now and then. But I'm just not going to nape it my whole entire YouTube career. A big change that I hope you guys are excited for is I'm going to start doing more non-reaction videos. Or so many ideas I've come up with that I can do um, in terms of just, it's not just a reaction video. It's going to be actual content. Um, some videos in contain me actually using money, like buying this and doing that. And like, it, it, I'm going to not just make reaction videos, but reaction videos are still going to be a big part of my, um, my channel. Yeah, I want to try to be more consistent. I want to start slow though. Maybe like, three twice three times a week slowly build it up to five like i used to um but yeah the consistency is definitely not there and i know that there was nothing to make a video on bro thing is my videos only tended to do good and still do to this day tend to do good 
when I talk about a certain person and you can't just talk about a certain person all the time bro we're gonna have the biggest fall off because I'm actually gonna consistently do videos that are reactions and other videos but it's not gonna be about certain people that gets views so th this is gonna be the biggest fall off but you gotta go for the fall offs to have the ups man I'm being honest um, to all my clinsters because I haven't addressed you properly in a long time. And I know that's my fault. I've been very disconnected to my audience. You guys are still the clinsters and clinsters. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to feel like you aren't. I still, you know what I'm saying? I still love you guys. You know what I'm saying? We like this. No homo. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't even be a no homo thing, bro. We like family. We like an internet family. You know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like I've been very disconnected. I needed to. You know what I'm saying? I was tired of being mini clean for a while. I, I'm just going to be honest. I was tired of being a influencer content creator and i just wanted to be me like you know what i'm saying i was tired of being this youtube person that everybody judges and this and that and i have to be this and i have to have this a certain amount of views and i have to do this and blah 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 so yeah man um i'm telling you, i have a good feeling like we're gonna go for the lows but i have a good feeling about this it's not just gonna be my brother like in my channel i'm, I'm gonna bring characters that you guys have never seen I, I, what i'm i, I could be creative when i want to believe it or not okay <laughs> hashtag clinsters rise we're bringing back the Clinster agenda. We pushing Clinster. You know what I'm saying? Clinster cult. You know what I'm saying? I need one for the non-binary motherfuckers too. Fuck it. I need one. I need one of them. I need. Hey, if you guys can go in the comment section, come up with a name for the for the day them. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's been crazy, bro. I just I miss joking with you niggas, bro. Like just making stupid jokes. If you guys have any video ideas or any reactions or anything you guys want me to anything even new you want me to see with the channel, uh, leave it in the comment section, bro. But um, if this is premiered, I want you guys to all spam Clinsters are back. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to see in the chat. I'm back on my bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, boys, I ain't said this in a long time, but I'll see you guys next time in the next inner video. Fuck off. <laughs> I cannot fuck with these niggas. I cannot fuck with these bitches. I'm trying to get my rest big up. They see me like innocent nigga.